After a one-week break, the Corona Invitational Football Tournament will resume with three games on Friday, August 18th. The Petra organization, which is responsible for organizing the event, is confident of a night of top action when the tournament resumes. We are approaching the business end of the tournament, which is the, we got the fourth round of football uh, starting tomorrow. As you're aware, we took a break last week because of the international games, female international games. And um, tomorrow we have uh, police coming up against Black Pearl. Um, then Pili, youthful Pili coming up against uh, Northern Rangers with those experienced guys, some of those guys from Farmer Alpha United. And um, the feature match, Santos versus uh, Rhythm Squad. Um, I think, especially last two games, there are two very explosive games, youth versus uh, the older folks. And uh, uh, Santos and Rhythm Squad, I think both teams trying to assert themselves tomorrow. So, you know, we can expect uh, great matches tomorrow. With just two rounds of group action left, director of the Petro organization, Troy Mendonca, believes that the final rounds are pivotal, especially since the tournament is still wide open. As you, you are aware, it's a, it's a round robin knuckle competition. And um, you know, at the end of the round robin stage, the, the winner from each group play the fourth place and then third play second uh, of the opposite group. So um, I think we are at the stage where one group, uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's no clear uh, position in terms of the group and um, I think these, these last two um, rungs are very very important to those teams. Nevertheless Mendonce is happy with what he has seen so far and believes that the traditional form of football is still important when compared to the rise of the recent futsal tournaments. We've seen the revival of um, football from the from the aspect of 11 aside and for us as, as, as administrators and spectators, you know, it's a breath of fresh air, you know, and, um, you know, we hope that people, you know, continue to, con continue to enjoy the little that they have seen so far. Like I said, we had, you know, disruption in the rain. Hopefully um, we get good weather going forward. And um, I think based on what we, we saw so far, based on what we see so far, I think, uh, at the knockout stage is going to be very, very, very competitive. As you are aware, worldwide, um, 11 aside is, is, is the major thing in any, in any um, you know, in any competition. The sad thing is that most of these uh, futsal teams that is playing right now is not a uh, structural team that is part and parcel of the GFF program. It's more or less um, war teams. So um, the, there's a lot of players and, and persons involved there that don't play um, football at the club level. So um, it is important, you know, for us to get back the 11 side out there because at the end of the day, there's, you know, there's where um, the, the most of the football is about. Action in the tournament will begin from 1800 hours at the Georgetown Football Club ground. Tristan Joseph. Newsroom Sport.